So you always hear big influences in the space like Hamza and Iman Gaju and Charlie Morgan and Sam Ovens talk about kind of modes. So you know Hamza has dopamine detox, Iman Gaju, monk mode, there's a nightmare mode, dark mode, tons of different stuff. So what this video basically is, is a one of a two part series where I'm going to be trying out what all these YouTubers talk about. And what they're talking about is a period of time in which you drastically decrease instant gratification activities and drastically increase delayed gratification activities that's the way hamza puts it and you know everybody else they say different things but that's really what it is at its core and so as i said this is part one of a two-part video series i'll make another video in about 30 days going over the results and what actually happened but in this video i'm basically just going to be laying the foundations and showing you guys a plan of what i'm going to be doing for the next 30 days going on a monk mode or dopamine detox or really whatever you want to call it so as i said this is video one on day one and in 30 days, I'm gonna release another video basically going over the results. But in this video, I'm just gonna be basically laying out the plan of what I'm gonna be doing for the next 30 days, okay? So the way I've kind of understood this, this is from Hamza specifically, is that dopamine detox is the kryptonite to our modern day distractions, okay? And so, you know, modern day distractions, stuff like scrolling on Instagram and everything like that, is taking away our attention. And we want to harness our attention by doing deep work and you know, doing needle moving action. And so the big two things I'm going to be doing is drastically decreasing instant gratification and drastically increasing delayed gratification, right? It sounds very simple and it, honestly it is. And I think that's why it's gotten so popular. So in this two part series, I'm just gonna be basically going over whether or not it's legit or whether or not it actually works. And so a good principle to go by for this is that the actions that you take today dictate the person you're gonna be, right? It sounds very obvious, but no one acts like it. So if you're doing bad habits, it's going to have a negative effect on your future self, right? Everybody wants to manifest shit, but the way you actually manifest shit is by taking actions, okay? You can't have an effect without a cause. You need to actually put something out there if you want to get something back, right? So we need to actually be taking actions. And so the first thing that we can do to help us get there is go on somewhat of an elimination diet, okay? And so this is Mosey Meals. It's kind of inspired by Alex Simonzi, but I have my own twist on it as well. So all I'm doing is getting my daily amount of protein in and then backfilling the, the amount of calories I want that day with whatever I want. But the only caveat is also being a low sugar. But I'm not gonna half ass it. Like, you know, there's protein bars that have 20 grams of protein and zero grams of sugar that taste sweet. Like, you know, something's fucking wrong with it. I'm only gonna have like natural non-processed food as well. So going on this elimination diet is gonna help you with brain fog, clarity, you know, actually getting into that deep work stay quicker and all that type of stuff. And an elimination diet is gonna work on this, okay? So when it comes to the instant gratification, delayed gratification, we're going to be using the 80-20 principle for this as well. So when it comes to our bad habits, what I'm doing is writing down a list of bad habits and then removing 80% 80, 80 of them, okay? So the only ones I'm keeping are the ones that I actually get the most enjoyment out of. So I've written down a list here. We have sleeping in, Discord VCs, sitting on my phone texting, scrolling on socials, laying such working in bed, watching YouTube, and obviously listening to music. And the one that I'm like really keeping is listening to music, but obviously I'm not doing this during work times. So it's just like when, you know, when I'm at the gym, when I'm like, on transport, that type of stuff, okay? And then I have two others which, which I'm like semi keeping is watching YouTube, which I'll only do in chill times, which I'll go over a bit more in planning my day. But I basically have parts of my days where I'm kind of like in chill rest mode. And so for that, I can watch YouTube. And same with that, I can sit on my phone and text people, okay? But the rest of these, getting rid of all of them. And we're actually using the 80-20 principle again. And so this is from Charlie Morgan. He basically says that we will get 80% of results from eliminating bad things. And so we're only going to be adding three new things and focusing up mainly on this, right? This is the main thing here, is removing the bad things. But we're also going to get that 20% as well. We're also going to implement three new things, okay? So the first one is meditation. I've been kind of on and off with this. But next 30 days, five minutes a day on lockdown, absolutely. Second one is needle moving action. Now I'm already doing the needle moving action, but it's gonna be a lot more systemized and I'm also gonna add a lot more volume to it, okay? So we're gonna see even more needle moving action. That's basically the plan here. And the last one is basically planning my day, okay? So I'm gonna go in my notes app. I've already been doing this because this is day one and it's 3 p.m. So I've kind of done it already today. I go in, so I did this last night, went in my notes app. I have in that notes app, a place to write three things that I wanna do that are basically big needle movers which we have here, needle moving action. And then I also have kind of a 15 minute incremental list from when I wake up to when I go to sleep where I can plan my day so I can see every single part of my day and what I'm gonna do in that day. And I can kind of give time slots to that needle moving action. But yeah, so that's basically my whole plan 
for this whole dopamine detox monk mode, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of this 30 day period where I'm going to be going extra hard and see if what everybody is saying actually works. So the next video in about 30 days, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on what happened and what the results were. You know, did I sign any more clients? How much money did I make? Everything like that, I'll be going into detail. So if you want to see that, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.